What's up, YouTube? Um, my face is very, looking very shiny today. That was me doing HRH. Um, but my face is looking very shiny today. Anyways, I'm Xander. Um, if you're already subscribed to my channel, you know that I mostly just sing covers and upload them. Um, but yeah, I love music. I love making music. I love listening to music. Um, I'm also an artist, painter. Um, yeah, I'm just a person at the end of the day. But I had started a YouTube channel with a ex of mine where we were reacting to albums and we had hopes and ideals for the channel, but the relationship ended and with it, so did the channel. So I don't know, I figured I would react to an album, react, listen. And Shy Girl's new album, Nymph, just came out last night at midnight. And I'm a big fan. And so let's listen to it. I haven't played it through yet. I've heard a couple of the singles. Let's, let's rock, let's do it, let's listen. Let's see. This first track is called Woe. W-O-E, Woe. Um, I first got into Shy Girl with her song Body, B-A-W-D-Y. Now tell me if it's good, are you feeling right now? Like she's just so hype and I love her kind of mellow rapping voice over these like really heavy beats. So I hope to hear some of that on this album. I know some of the singles were like more chill, which is cool too. But yeah, let's go. Best friends, no cute Cody. Co dash D, like codependent, like boyfriend, girlfriend. It's giving like 90s kind of soft, dreamy, like trancey vibes, which I dig. I think that if I saw Shy Girl like walking down the street or if I ended up in the same room as her, I would um, like evaporate into thin air because of just how cool her vibe is. What's that line mean? I can have it all when I'm never satisfied. I can have it all when I'm never satisfied. Maybe it means she like, is never attached to anything. So she can have it all. I don't know. Interesting. Uh, okay, track one. That was chill. I liked it. I liked the kind of like heavy, dark rap breakdown in the middle. I was a fan. I was a fan. Um, See it on this It was good. All right, let's keep it going. Mm -hmm. 
This is track two, Come For Me. I'm looking over at my TV, which has the lyrics scrolling. Again, with the, like the cool, dreamy, like almost messy, but intentionally sounding production. I like, I like, I like. I feel like this type of music would be playing if you're, if you like die at a club in your spirit is like ascending through the crowd this is like what the music would sound like to your spirit as it's leaving your body i like that part i was like goosebumps Slowing it down. Alright, so far there's no like body levels of like hype music, which is fine, but this next song is called Schlut. Schlut. So, you know, high expectations. <laughs> Yo, I love that guitar in the background behind the beat, like whew. This is good. This one's going in my workout playlist for sure. I like that one. Um, I like how Shy Girl is just like in her own lane, like doing her own thing. Um, respect. This one's called Little Bit. It's a minute and 20 seconds. Like the production is just so sick, like that. It's like they sampled a bunch of like nails scratching on a chalkboard and like made it into the coolest beat of all time. Um, like I genuinely think that Shy Girl is probably the coolest person on the planet. That was good. I like a one minute track, you know? It's like, okay, you got one minute and you can just fucking pack all the coolest shit into a minute and 20 seconds instead of dragging a song out to like three or four minutes. I feel like TikTok, TikTok has like pushed shorter tracks too, which I don't, I guess I don't know how I feel about it, but I, yeah, I don't know. I like, I like it. It's easy. It's quick. Okay. Firefly. I know this track. This was like the first single. I like it. It's like, it's chill. 
Like that melody is just so nice. As a very amateur-ish music producer, I would love to see how they fucking made this, because it sounds so cool. Like, this song is an earworm, I feel like. I hate that fucking phrase, earworm, or word, or whatever. But it's like, catchy, you know, it'll be in there later. I'm so fucking annoying. Like, if Shy Girl was the priest, I would go to church. I must say that I love the vibes of like this exact moment in my life because it looks like it's about to rain outside and I'm jamming out to Shy Girl's new album in my relatively clean apartment. Um... <laughs> Like somehow this song has that like, it's like airy and cool and refreshing. I feel like this is a good early autumn album. This will get me through. I, this song's called Coochie, A Bedtime Story. Not gonna lie, I heard this one just cause it was trending on TikTok. Cause it's funny. Should I cut my hair and grow it out? Would I look good with long hair or would it be too much? Hello, it's the coochie calling. I can't wait to sing this song to my kids one day. story just me and the coochie coochie what coochie where coochie here coochie there all right dr seuss i keep looking out my window because i live on a busy street so it's fit whenever like people are walking by i just can't help but look I next track heaven. Okay, this might be my favorite one so far. Like this album is very like low-key hype and very chill at the same time like i feel like i could like meditate to this album it's so kind of like calming and transcendental feeling that was calm like i feel like i'm floating in the ocean with that song Okay, 
I heard this song too on TikTok and it's sick. Um, like Nike has to use this shit in a commercial. Drive through, Big Mac, cardiac. I'm a fan. Like, I feel like I've heard it a million times, but I know that I haven't. It just sounds so like classic. Like I love the in the background that comes in. That was good. That was good. That was good. Um, this next track is called Poison. Twigs was just on RuPaul's Drag Race UK and I feel like Shy Girl needs to be on. Like, you know, it just feels like the vibe. I know Shy Girl and Twigs have done collabs, but TBH, I feel like they need to do more. Like they could do better. Like they should do a whole album together. That would be so sick. Their voices are like kind of similar, but FK Twigs is like a little softer and lighter and Shy Girl's a little like deeper. Oh, I don't know, like, I just feel like they work really well together. Album's gotta have the worst song. This track is called Honey. I have a zit right here and it is so painful. I'm 28 years old. Like, when am I gonna stop breaking out? in this song but it feels a little like uneventful to be like three minutes and 40 seconds long um, so we'll see but it's not like bad it's just like okay yeah. like I don't think she's ever gonna Play that live like at a show you know it was fine uh this track's called missing you a 59 seconds i still miss my ex but who want to be the next thing like that was sick why couldn't that track be three minutes yeah that was a good one that i
Um, Wildfire. Wildfire is the name of the track. strings in the background um, I must be honest though this song and the last couple songs are having me kind of like disassociate a little bit or like I don't know maybe I'm just tired and anxious or something oh, I hope the next track is like super hype I mean, that's it, yo. That's all. Let's see. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve tracks. It was good. It was chill. Um, probably some standout tracks were Nike, Missing You. Slut. Um, and what was that one? Was it Heaven or Firefly? Firefly. Guess I need to hear you. Um, yeah, that was good. I like the album art. It's like very much her vibe. Kind of just like dreamy and soft looking. Eh? Thanks for watching me listen to this for the first time. I guess time will tell if I actually like put it on in the future. I think it'd be a fun like final record to have. I might try to get a hold of it. Um, yeah. Stay tuned. I'm thinking on Friday I'm actually gonna like release one of my own songs. So yeah. Maybe we can listen to it together. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with my life, so that's why I'm here today, just doing this, because it was something to do that's different than all the other shit that I have to do. Um, yeah, feel free to check out my the rest of my channel, my some of my covers. Uh, I hope that if you're in America, if you're in Florida or in the path of the hurricane, that you're safe. And I hope the rest of you are also safe. Happy Friday. Have a good weekend. Um, yeah, see you next time.